In today's video, let's ask ourselves that philosophical question. Are all G4s created equal? Well, let's find out. Let's meet our contestants. First off, a Power Mac G4 MDD, single PowerPC 7445 at 1.25 GHz. Our second contestant is a PowerBook G4 with a 1.25 GHz PowerPC 7447 processor. This one does not have level 3 cache like the MDD does. Third contestant, iBook G4, 12 inch, 1.2 GHz PowerPC 7447 a CPU, 1.25 GB of DDR memory. And last but not least, the 2005 Mac Mini G4 with 1.25 GHz PowerPC 7447 a CPU and 1 GB of memory. Let's get to the benchmarks. The benchmarks we'll be running today are Geekbench 2.2 and Xbench 1.3. Both are of course 32-bit programs and they will test the CPUs to their limits. Only one way to find out whether there is really a difference between these 1.2 to 1.25 GHz G4 CPUs. Roll the benchmarks. When processing the Geekbench 2 results here, we can conclude a number of things. First of all, the G4 MDD and G4 Mac Mini appear the fastest in integer and floating point performance, the two most important metrics when it comes to CPU performance. The iBook G4 and PowerBook G4 are considerably weaker in this regard. When it comes to overall memory and stream performance, the bottom fragger is definitely the iBook G4. It has the lowest clock speed of them all, and overall seems to perform the poorest. Except in integer and floating point, where the PowerBook, for some reason, is slower with a hard clocked CPU and overall much better system performance. Let's complicate matters by looking at Xbench. As we can see here, the overall fastest CPU is still the MDD, or the one in the MDD rather, but the PowerBook G4, which was pretty much dead last in the last benchmark, is now in second place. The only saving grace for the iBook now is the Altavec basic test, where it comes in second and wins by a landslide from the PowerBook and the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini is now suddenly the slowest when it comes to floating point math. Which is very interesting to say the least. So yeah, it's very difficult now to draw a conclusion. The only thing that's for certain is that not all G4s are created equally. But that's just a big spoiler, isn't it? It is conclusion time. Let's score these CPUs one last time in these particular Macs. 3 points to the winner, 0 to the loser, and 2 and 1 for the ones in between. If we were to hand out such scores, we find the following. MDD wins, followed by the Mac Mini, followed by the PowerBook, followed by the iBook G4, with the lowest clock speed of them all. So, to answer that question, I asked in the beginning, are all G4s created equal? The answer is no, and even at the same clock speed. This concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.